charged in a one count information which reads as follows. On or about November 23, 2008, Harry Potter did unlawfully commit an assault upon Draco Malfoy with a deadly weapon and instrument, and, my, and by means of force likely to produce great bodily injury in violation of Penal Code Section 245A1. To this charge, the defendant, Harry Potter, has entered a plea of not guilty. It will be the job of this jury to listen to the evidence and then decide whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty of this charge. In our criminal justice system, the defendant is always presumed to be innocent, which means that in order to find the defendant guilty, each juror must be convinced of his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. The strict attorney may make your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. Members of the jury, we have a very simple case to present to you today. We will prove that on the day in question, this defendant, Harry Potter, assaulted the victim, Mr. Draco Malfoy, by the use of a deadly and dangerous weapon. In this case, the weapon is a magic wand. First, you will hear from the victim, Mr. Malfoy, who will tell you he was innocently walking through the dining hall at his wither school Hogwarts when the defendant, Harry Potter, put a spell on it and transformed him into a hideous bearer. Then, you will hear from Professor Severus Snape, who will tell you he was in the dining hall monitoring the students when he saw Harry Potter turn Mr. Malfoy into a ferret. Professor Snape will tell you he ran to get his book of spells and it took him several minutes to turn Mr. Malfoy back into a wizard. After you hear our witnesses, we're convinced that you will find the uh, defendant guilty as charged. Thank you, District Attorney. Defense Counsel, you may make your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, we will prove that things are not as simple as the District Attorney will lead you to believe. First, we will call the stand Hermione Granger, and she will testify that she was in the dining hall with her best friends, Harry Potter and Ron Weasley, when uh, Hermione, or when Mr. Malfoy approached the table and started harassing them. When Hermione told Malfoy to leave them alone, Malfoy ran up to her and got right next to her face and called her a mudblood. You will hear that that word is a very negative word at Hogwarts. Then the next thing she saw was that Malfoy had changed into a ferret. Something like that. I can't be sure. It happened so long ago. 
Isn't that when you saw Harry transform Malfoy into a ferret? That could be right. I'm not sure exactly how it happened. I just got so worried about Malfoy. About how long did it take to turn Malfoy back into a wizard? I would say at least four or five minutes. I couldn't find the book of spells. Even easier way to turn wizards into a ferret than turning a wizard a ferret back into a wizard. It's actually very tricky transformation. Good thing I was there. No one else at Hogwarts could done that perform that perform that transformation. I appreciate that, Professor. After you transformed Malfoy back into a wizard, in other than his eagle, was he injured in any way? No, not really, but he was an emotion back emotional basket piece. No further questions, Your Honor. Please step down, Professor. Thank you for coming in. Any additional witnesses on behalf of the people? The people or us? Does the defense wish to call any witnesses? We certainly do, Your Honor. The defense calls Hermione Granger. Jury, the members of the jury, what happened on November 23rd, 2008 in the Great Hall? Sure. Hermione, Ron, and I were enjoying our dinner at the Great Hall when Malfoy came up to us and started yelling something about how great he was Quidditch. Hermione told him to shut up or something, and Malfoy ran notes like usual. He ran up to Hermione and started calling her like mud blood. I thought he was going to attack her, but it pulled out my wand and transformed him into a harmless spirit. Why did you do that, Harry? You have no idea how vicious Malfoy is. I think of nothing of being here for Hermione. I'm only going to stand by and wait for him to harm her. Why did you transform into a ferret of all things? I had to get to react. It was the only spell I knew. What happened next? Well, everyone was laughing at Malfoy except for the first night. I got very upset at him and transformed Malfoy back into himself. No further, Your Honor. Mr. Mom. 
framework by Mr. Malfoy. But yet, what do they do after they're unluckily transformed into a fairy? They sit there and laugh at him. Thank goodness Professor Snape was there to transform Mr. Malfoy back into an insult. Otherwise, we would have a fairy in our court today instead of Mr. Malfoy. I would urge to you to find the defendant Harry Potter guilty of assault with the deadliest of all weapons, the magic wand. Thank you, District Attorney. Defense Attorney, you may make your closing argument. Thank you, Your Honor. Members, members of the jury, this has reasonable doubt written all over it. The only witnesses called by the District Attorney were Matt Draco Malfoy and uh, Professor Snape, the two wizards at Hogwarts that hate Harry Potter the most. Think how simple things would be for Slytherin House if Harry Potter was put in jail. Maybe then Slytherin House could actually win something at Hogwarts instead of always coming second best. Harry had a split second, or had to react in a split second. Would he protect Hermione or let Malfoy attack her? Anyone would have done the same thing. Plus, he knew it'd be no big deal to turn Malfoy back into a wizard. Can you believe what a crybaby Malfoy is? Please set my client free. Find Harry Potter not guilty. Thank you, defense attorney. Members of the jury, in order to find the defendant guilty, you must find that the district attorney has convinced you beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant did an act that by its nature would result in the application of force to another creature. The term application of force means to make contact with another creature in a harmful way. The, the slightest contact can be enough. The contact does not have to cause pain or injury of any kind. The defendant is not guilty of assault if he used force against the other creature in defense of another, if he responsibly believed that Hermione was in immediate danger of bodily injury, and the defendant reasonably believed that the use of force was necessary to defend against the, that danger. Court should also refine 